Hi, welcome to Storytime with the Huntington Beach Library. My name is Miss Carrie, and I'm so happy to do Storytime with you today. Let's get started with some stories and songs and fun things to do with your family. Now, do you see what's on the board right here? You see some shapes? That's the shape family. Let me introduce you. Let's start with the yellow circle. My name is Mama Circle. I'm round like a pie. I'm Baby Triangle. Three sides have I. One, two, three. I'm Papa Square. My sides are four. One, two, three, four. I'm uh, Cousin Rectangle. I'm shaped like a door. Knock, knock, knock. Hello. <laughs> I'm Brother Oval. I'm shaped like a zero. And I'm Sister Diamond with the sparkle and the glow. These are the shapes that you all know. Look for them wherever you go. Do you see shapes wherever you go? These shapes are all different, but they're all together in the same family, the shape family. Now, we're going to read some stories today that are all about being different, being unique, being special, because you are special. That's right. Now, let's see what's hiding behind the shapes. What is behind our circle shape, our yellow circle shape? Let's find out. I'm going to give you some magic and magic words, and we're going to find out what's hiding behind them. Now, the magic words are one, two, peek-a-boo. Are you ready? Now, raise your hands up, and let me give you some magic. Here you go. Catch your magic. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Oh, you got it? Hold it close to you and don't let it go. It's so wiggly and tickly. It likes to fly away. Remember the magic words? One, two, peek-a-boo. Let's do the yellow circle. One, two, peek-a-boo. <gasps> What's hiding behind here? Ooh, I see an ear. Do you have an ear? Do you have two ears? Can you point to your ears? There you are. Here's ear. Let's do the next shape. The next shape is what color? Purple. And do you remember the name of the shape? A triangle. That's right. Let's say the magic words to the purple triangle. Here we go. One, two, peek a -boo. What's back here? Oh, it's a, a nose. Can you point to your nose? <gasps> Does that look silly? <laughs> that is silly. Well, your nose is good for smelling things. That's right. Your ears are good for hearing things. What's over here? The blue square. Magic word time. Here we go. One, two, peek a -boo. What's back here? Feet. Feet with wiggly toes. Can you point to your feet? Down below. There they are. They take you places. They help you run, right? Oh, we are on to the green rectangle. Ready? Let's say the magic words. The magic words are one, two, peek a -boo. What's back there? Oh, hey! Do you have eyes to see? What kinds of things can you see? All the colors around you, your home and your yard and all the fun things outside and inside and all around you. One, two eyes. Now let's do the next shape. The next shape is an orange oval. That's right. Magic word time. One, two, peek a -boo. What's behind the orange oval? Hey, do you have a mouth? Yes, you do. And that's good for talking and eating. Mm -mm -mm. And can you whistle yet? <laughs> that's something that we can learn. Let's do the last shape. What's the last shape? 
It's a red diamond. Let's say the magic words. One, two, peek a -boo. What's back here? Hands. Can you show me your hands? Hands are for wiggling, clapping, and helping, giving hugs, too. Is that right? Now, put these all together, and this is you, right? Oh, my goodness. All parts of you. Now, let's read a couple of stories all about how special you are. This bright and beautiful story is called I Like Myself by Karen Beaumont, illustrated by David Catro. I like myself. I'm glad I'm me. There's no one else I'd rather be. I like my eyes, my ears, my nose. I like my fingers and my toes. Ooh, I like me wild. I like me tame. I like me different and the same. I like me fast. I like me slow. I like me everywhere I go. I like me on the inside too, for all I think and say and do. Inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe and all around. I like it all. It all is me, and me is all I want to be. And I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. I may be called a silly nut or crazy cuckoo bird. So what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. Even when I look a mess, I still don't like me any less. Because nothing in the world you know can change what's deep inside. And so, no matter if they stop and stare, no person ever anywhere can make me feel what they see is all there really is to me. I'd still like me with fleas or warts or with a silly snout that snorts or knobbly knees, or hippo hips, or purple pot polka dotted lips. Isn't that silly? Look at her purple polka dot lips. <laughs> or beaver breath, or stinky toes, or horns protruding from my nose. Or yikes, with spikes all down my spine. Or hair like, that's like a porcupine. I still would be the same, you see. I like myself because I'm me. The end. What a fun story. Now let's do a little song called All of Me. Now show me your hands. My hands are for clapping. Show me a clap. My arms can hug tight. Can you give a big squeeze? My fingers can snap. That one's a little bit harder. Put your fingers together and... Or turn out the light. Can you show me your finger turning out the light? My legs are for jumping. Jump, jump, jump. Can you jump on your feet? Jump, jump, jump. My eyes help me see. My eyes help me see. This is my body, and I love all of me. Now let's put the whole thing together and say it together. My hands are for clapping. My arms can hug tight. My fingers can snap or turn out the light. My legs are for jumping. My eyes help me see. This is my body, and I love all of me. This is the story of The Box Turtle by Vanessa Roeder. The Box Turtle by Vanessa Roeder. Crack! When the little box turtle hatched, his parents noticed something missing. Oh me! Oh my! But they weren't dismayed. They gave him a name and a shell both of which fit just right. 
Now remember, Terrence, you are so much more than just a shell. So Terrence's shell kept him dry on the soggiest days and safe from the snoopiest strangers and oh, on the scariest nights. It was big enough to share. Terrence loved his shell until one day. Your shell is weird. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, Terrence's shell seemed too boring, too bizarre, and too big for a little box turtle to wear. So he abandoned it to search for something better. Terrence, he searched high and low until, oh, wowee, his new shell looked sleek. Eek, but it showed too much cheek. Oh, no. Well, the search continued, and he looked classy. He looked sassy. He looked just like Grandma Mildred. Oh, dear. He looked for another shell. Donations. Oh, yeah. He found it. A perfect polka dotty package. Pop! Oh, that was positively petrifying. Terrence tried shell. Boom, 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 boom. After shell. Hey! <laughs> he took a lunchbox. After shell. Oh, now he has a flower box. After shell, arg, a treasure box, <laughs> but nothing fit. Oh, this whole situation stunk. <sighs> he has kitty litter box, isn't that funny? It stunk a lot. Ew. <laughs> That's it. I give up. Here you go. Scuttle, scuttle, plop. Isn't that nice? His friend, the hermit crab, gave him his shell. Oh, wow! In that moment, the hermit crab showed what it meant to be a friend. Oh, the little crustacean was so much more than just a shell. And maybe Terrence was too. Terrence knew what he needed. But when he found his old shell... Oh, no, it had changed. Who has his old shell? The raccoon. Oh, no. It's okay. We can fix it. Terrence patched on soggy, patched on soggy days, and he toiled on chilly nights. The task grew big enough to share. Good. Look at everybody helping. Finally, the shell was finished. It wasn't sleek or sassy. Mm -mm. It was far from perfect and definitely weird. <laughs> but Terrence wasn't dismayed because this little box turtle was so much more than just his shell. The end. Okay, now we have a wiggly song. Show me your wiggly fingers. How many wiggly fingers do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There they are. Wiggle them. Do them really fast. Now do it really slow. Okay, here we go. I have one. I have two, I have three little fingers, I have four, I have five, I have six little fingers, I have seven, I have eight, I have nine little fingers, ten little fingers on my hands. They can wiggle, they can wiggle, they can wiggle in the morning. They can wiggle, they can wiggle, they can wiggle in the evening. They can wiggle, they can wiggle, they can wiggle in the moonlight. Ten little fingers on my hands. They can clap, they can clap, they can clap, 
in the morning they can clap they can clap they can clap in the evening they can clap they can clap they can clap in the moonlight ten little fingers on my hands they can tickle they can tickle they can tickle in the morning they can tickle they can tickle they can tickle in the evening they can tickle they can tickle they can tickle in the moonlight ten little fingers on my hands <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. I'm so happy to have done story time with you. Now let's sing our goodbye song together. Now we're going to clap again. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wink your eye. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye, friends. See you next time. Say yee-haw. Yee-haw. Bye.